Hi, good day. Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe my TikTok page. Thank you so much. Hello students, happy learning. So with that, our objectives of the lesson. First, recall the way of writing scientific notation. Second, multiply and divide expressions with scientific notation. And last, solve problems involving scientific notation. Ito po yung kailangan matutunan or ma-master this week. So, kailangan natin marikol na kung hindi pa po napapanood yung discussion natin about writing scientific notation. You are going to, I don't know, it's free to watch. Okay? Para maintindihan po natin. So, with that, let's do on how to multiply and divide scientific notation. So, first, meron tayong rules dyan. We have to apply the product rule. Remember, this is for log exponent, di ba? We have a raised to m times a raised to n. That is equal to copy the base and add the exponent, yung m and n. Pag sa atin namang multiplication with scientific notation, ginagamit dyan, just simply multiply the coefficients and add the exponents. So, let's have example number one. I have here 2 times 10 raised to 4 times 19 times 10 raised to 3. All you have to do is, anong sabi sa rule natin? I-multiply po natin yung ating coefficient na 2 tsaka 9. That is equal to 38. What about the exponent? Diba sabi dyan, i-add natin yung 4 tsaka 3. Kasi nga, same base sila. Yun yung sinasabi sa product rule. Copy the base and i-add natin yung 4 plus 3. That will become 7. So we need to say, so eto na ngayon yung ating uh, uh, not yet simplified, no? 38 times 10 raised to 7. So, babalikan natin yung ating uh, diniscuss last week, di ba? Kailangan ang ating final answer for the scientific notation, it should be single digit. Ibig sabihin yan, i-move natin yung ating decimal point papunta dito. Kailangan kasi ng isang digit to. Okay? So, meaning to say, that will become 3.8 times 10 raised to 8. Ang tanong dyan, bakit po naging 8 na yung exponent, kanina 7? Okay, remember, kapag nag-move tayo, kasi di ba ang rule natin sa scientific notation writing, if you're going to move, okay, how many, kung ilan yung minove mo, yun po ang i-add natin. Okay, kaya nag, naging 8 na po yan. Okay, another we have, 25 times 10 raised to negative 3 times 5 times 10 raised to 8. All you have to do is multiply the coefficient, Okay, 5 times 25, that is equal to 125. Since yung base natin 10, copy and add natin yung negative 3 plus 8. So ano yung sum ni negative 3 tsaka 8? That is equal to 5. Okay, bakit 5? Mas malaki kasi yung 8, yung positive niya. So meaning to say, ang rule natin, di ba? So, since this is whole number, you're going to move the decimal point. Nandito siya, 1, 2. Kasi kailangan single digit siya. Meaning to say that will become 1.25 times 10 raised to 7. Bakit naging 7? Remember, nag-move ako ng 2 places going to left. Kaya nag-plus 2 ako ng uh, doon sa exponent. Kaya naging 7. So meaning to say, let's have another 4 times 10 raised to negative 9 times 12 times 10 raised to 4. All you have to do is multiply the coefficient 4 times 12. That will become 48. And copy the base 10. Add natin yung exponent nila negative 9 plus 4, that will become negative 5. Bakit negative 5? Mas malaki kasi yung negative. Copy the sign. Okay, so we need to say, di ba recall natin? So, i-move natin yung decimal going to this between of this kasi laging single digit. So, we need to say that will become 4.8 times 10 raised to negative 4. Bakit naging negative 4? Okay, remember, nag-move ako ng 1. Since this is negative kasi, di ba? Okay, pag lumalaki kasi yan, nag-add ako, meaning to say, Remember, sa integers, pag malayo sa zero yan, meaning to say, mas uh, maliit. Kaya nga palalakihin natin. Kaya nga, that will become uh, negative 5 plus 1, kaya naging negative 4 na siya. Okay? Next, another, 10.5 times 10 raised to negative 2 times 5 times 10 raised to negative 3. All you have to do is multiply the coefficient, 5 tsaka 10.5, that is equal to 52.5. And copy the base 10 and... Uh, diba, product yan, i-add natin yung exponent negative 2 plus negative 3, that is equal to negative 5. Meaning to say, since this is not yet in the simplified form, you're going to move the decimal point going to left. So meaning to say, nandito na siya. So therefore, we have 5.25 times 10 raised to negative 4. Remember, bakit naging negative 4? Kasi nag plus 1 po ako. Kasi nag-move ako ng 1 uh, going to left. Okay, so with that, let's proceed to division of 
with scientific notation. Remember, the rule is simply divide the coefficients and subtract the exponents. Okay, kasi nga galing po yan or na-derive po sa law of exponents na a raised to m over a raised to n, meaning to say copy the base and subtract the exponents. So dito naman, i-divide lang natin yung coefficient, then subtract natin yung exponents nila. Okay, let's have example. I have here 75 times 10 raised to 7 over 3 times 10 raised to 3. All you have to do is, sabi dyan, di ba, i-divide natin yung coefficient ni 75 over 3. That is equal to 25. Then copy the base 10, subtract natin yung exponent 7 minus 3. That is equal to 4. So since this is not a simplified form, di ba, kailangan single digit, i-move natin. So meaning to say that will become 2.5 times 10 raised to 5. Bakit siya 5? Kasi nga nag-move ako ng 1. Going to left. Kaya magpa-plus 1 ako dito. Kaya that is the final answer. I have here another. We have 21 times 10 raised to 4 over 7 times 10 raised to negative 2. All you have to do is divide the coefficient. 21 divided by 7. That is equal to 3. Then copy the base 10. Subtract natin yung exponent. What is 4 minus negative 2? Remember, negative, negative, that will become positive. Okay, so we need to say, what is 4 plus 2? That is equal to 6. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, bakit hindi ako nag-add? Kasi hindi na po uh, ako nag-move. Kasi nga, it's already single digit. Kaya yan na po yung final answer natin. Okay, let's have uh, application, no? Word problems involving scientific notation. Para alam natin, bakit nga ba kailangan natin inaaral ito? So, para malaman nyo na paano siya ginagamit sa real life. Okay, number one. A Jollibee Corporation has 4.8 times 10 raised to 3 employees. The average annual salary of, of for each of the employees is 7.5 times 10 raised to 4. Okay, so uh, approximately in pesos, how much does the corporation pays its employees each year? Ibig sabihin yan, ilan yung binabayad ng corporation ng Jollibee sa bawat empleyado doon sa Jollibee na to, sa corporation. Ibig sabihin niya, naka-convert kasi to sa scientific notation. So, how are we going to solve this problem? Okay? That is simply how much it refers to the multiplication. All we have to do is, okay, so the given, the simply 4.8 times 10 raised to 3, multiply lang natin doon sa 7.5 times 10 raised to 4. Okay, di ba? Balikan natin yung rule kanina. Kapag nag-multiply, Multiply the coefficient, 4.8 times 7.5, that is equal to 36. And copy the base, 10, and add natin yung exponents. So that is 3 plus 4, that will become 7. So we need to say, what is the simplified form of 36? Kapag uh, kinonvert natin to di ba kailangan single digit? Kaya we are going to move the decimal point in between of this. Okay, kaya nga magiging, ang ating final answer is 3.6 times 10 raised to 8. Bakit naging 8 na po yung exponents? Remember, nag plus 1 ako because of the movement going to left or that is the one uh, place. Okay, so meaning to say, ano po yung sagot natin dito? Hindi lang pwede ibigay natin to yung sweldo. Kailangan i-convert natin itong scientific notation into pesos. How are we going to do that? Remember, you have to expand. What is 10 raised to 8? Diba? Napakalaking number niyan. Tapos yung, yung value nito, mumultiply mo sa 3.6. That is equal to 360 million. Diba? Ang laki palang kinikita ng mabawat empleyado sa Jollibee. Kada taon niyan. Okay? So yan ngayon ang value niya. Kaya nga mahalaga malaman natin na pinapalit natin or pinapalaki yung writing natin. Okay. So with that, let's have another... If a computer can conduct 4, 4 times 10 raised to 15 operations per second, how long would it take the computer to perform 6 times 10 raised to 9? Okay, so dito, kung papansinin natin yung problem natin, di ba? So we are going to analyze the number of operations is 6 times 9 raised to 9. So pag kinonvert natin yan, yan yung operations nila na nagawa. Okay, ibig sabihin naman, malaki yan, no? So, ano naman yung ating rate? Ito yung rate of operation. Sa bawat uh, operation na yun, meron silang rate na tinatawag. Yun yung 4 times 10 raised to 15 per second. So, di ba, pag kinonvert natin yan, napakalaki yung number na yan. Kaya nga, naka-written na siya sa scientific notation. So, meaning to say, we are going to find how long, gaano katagal bago may isagawa yan sa loob or sa rate na 4 times 10 raised to 15 per second. So we are going to apply 
this division. Okay, how are we going to do that? Just simply, 6 times 10 raised to 9 over 4 times 10 raised to 15. Diba? Balikan natin kanina. How are we going to solve this? I divide natin yung coefficient. What is 6 divided by 4? That is equal to 1.5. And, diba? Sa rule natin, copy the base 10 and subtract natin its exponents. That will become 9 minus 15. And what is the difference of 9 and 15? That is equal to negative 6. Mas malaki kasi yung minus natin. That is negative. Kaya negative 6 siya. So meaning to say, since this is already in a simplified or that is a single digit, hindi na tayo magpa plus 1. Okay? So ang tanong dyan, paano ko malalaman yung sagot dito? How long would it take? Hindi lang pwede na ang sagot natin dyan ay 1.5. 5 times 10 raised to negative 6. Hindi pa rin niya maintindihan. I-convert natin ito sa standard form para malaman nila kung ilang seconds ba yung, yung kailangan nilang um, habulin para matapos. Okay, we are going to convert by expound. Okay, kaya we have this 0 0.000015 seconds. Ibig sabihin yan, mabilis pa lang gumawa ang, corp, ang computer, di ba? Okay, so meaning to say it would take 0 0.000015 seconds to perform 6 billion operations. Ibig sabihin niya napakalaki niya no, pero mabilis sila kasi 15 uh, zero ano, less than 1. Okay, so with that I hope you learned something and